In this video, we will consider the rule when raising a fraction to a power, raise the entire numerator and the entire denominator to the power. Let's begin with this example. We have the fraction a over 2 raised to the third power. Here, we can use this rule because what we're raising to a power is a fraction, and when we raise a fraction to a power, we raise the entire numerator and the entire denominator to the power. Now, it's a good idea to, whenever you're using this rule, put the numerator and the denominator in parentheses when you apply the rule. So let's go ahead and look at what's in the numerator. It's an A. We need to raise the entire numerator, and we represent raising the entire numerator by putting in parentheses and cubing it. We raise the entire numerator to the power. And we raise the entire denominator, which again we represent by putting it in parentheses. We raise that entire denominator to the power, which is 3. Here, there is nothing going on inside these grouping symbols, there's just an A, so the grouping symbols really don't make any difference here, so we can just get rid of them. This is A cubed over 2 cubed, it means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. This is A cubed all over 8. Let's take a look at where this rule came from. How could we rewrite this expression that would help us see why this rule actually works? Here what we're doing is we're taking a over 2 and using it as a factor three times. So let's represent that. We use a over 2 as a factor once, twice, and three times. Here we see that we are multiplying fractions, and when multiplying fractions, you multiply straight across all the numerators together, then all the denominators together. The numerators are a times a times a. That's three factors of a. Whenever I do that, I get a cubed. And in the denominator, I have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed, or 8. So we get the same thing, a cubed over 8. Depending on the complexity of the expression, this method, using the rule that we're teaching you here, is usually going to be much faster. Let's consider another example. Let's consider the quantity cd over a cubed, close the quantity, squared. Again, we're raising a fraction to a power. And in this example, raising the entire numerator and raising the entire denominator are very important here. If we were careless about what we were doing right now, and we said we're going to raise this numerator to the power, and we wrote cd squared, this would not be correct. We've neglected to raise the entire numerator to the power. Presently, the only thing being raised to the power is the d. The c here is not being raised to the power. This is why it's so important to get the numerator in parentheses before you raise it to the power, because you need to raise the entire numerator to the power. So here, the entire numerator is cd. Put it in parentheses, and then raise the whole thing to the power. This is the correct way to write it. This means that we're raising the entire numerator to the power. Likewise, we'll raise the entire denominator, which is a cubed, to the power which is 2. Here we can simplify. In the numerator, we're raising a product to a power. This is a product because it's a multiplication problem. And remember the rule for when raising a product to a power, raise each factor to the power. There are two factors here, a c and a d. We need to raise the c to the power, which is 2, so that's going to give us c squared. And we need to raise the second factor to the power, that's d, and the power is 2. So that'll be d squared. And in the denominator, we're raising something to a power. Let's take a look at what is going on inside the parentheses. The only thing we have is an exponential expression, it's a power. Here we're raising a power to a power. 
and when raising a power to a power, multiply the powers. So we're going to get a to the 3 times 2 power, and 3 times 2 is 6. So this is going to be a to the 6th power. There's nothing more we can do here. We do have some division here, but there's no like bases, so we are not dividing like bases. There's nothing more we can do. This is in simplest form.